Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm gonna share with you my top product picks for December of 2024. Obviously, we're coming to the end of the year. We're running out of time a little bit. So to help you guys get up and running as quickly as possible with each of these products, I'm gonna show you the order trends, the data behind them, so you know that there's proof and evidence that they're working right now and in demand. I'm gonna show you the profit margins so you know exactly what you're buying them for and what the recommended retail prices are. I'm gonna show you my recommended target market for each of these products. I'm gonna give you the link to each of these products and I'm also gonna give you a copy and paste product description for each of these products. So I'm gonna be working through this presentation that I've created on Canva that creates the links and has the links to everything, etc., etc. So if you wanna get a copy of this, and of course you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. And once we get to 20 likes, I will post the free download link for this presentation in a pinned comment below. That being said guys, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into product number one. Product number one is this heated foot pad. It's basically like a pillow that is plush lined on the inside and it warms up to 50 to 60 degrees. A brilliant product for this time of year for obvious reasons. It's cold outside. It's perfect for the dog walker when they get home to warm their feet through, perhaps they're wet. It's perfect for anybody who suffers with arthritis in their feet and their ankles. A brilliant product in super high demand this time of year. And this is backed up by the order volume trends as well. As we can see through the summer months, little to no demand for this. The order volumes or the order total order numbers didn't really start increasing until September, October time when the weather started to get a bit colder. So it shows that there's going to be a constant and continuing demand for this product, at least for the next four or five months, I would say. So plenty of potential left still in this one. The cost of this product is $8.06 delivered. My recommended retail price would be $40.39.99. You might be thinking that's a little bit expensive, but when you price a product, you should always price it based on the problem that it's solving for somebody within reason. Now, obviously, logic in the consumer's mind would tell somebody they probably won't pay $200 for this, but if it solves the problem of feeling really cold and warming your feet through and helping ease the pain of arthritis and other things, then $40 is a small price to pay for that. And at that price point, you're making a very healthy profit margin of $31.93. My recommended target market would be females, 45 plus. That would just be where I would guess, given my experience, uh, most of the demand and most of the hits is going to come from. You can, of course, run a broad test and let the data show you. This is my recommended targeting though. As for the product descriptions then, so typically when I have a description on my product pages now, I try and keep the amount of text minimal, to be honest. I try and make the, the information as scannable and consumable as possible. So typically the format I'll follow will be like a GIF, an image, followed by a header, followed by no more than sort of two lines really of explanation, um, explanation a paragraph. So cozy warmth for your feet, keep your feet toasty with electric heating foot warmer. It's flannel blanket material provides a soft plush feel while the adjustable 50 to 60 degrees of temperature raises ensures consistent warmth on chilly days. Everything you need to know about the product is basically explained in those 30 or 40 words. Moving on to product number two, we have a dino track game. The images don't really do it justice, so let me show you exactly how it works. These guys. This, the reason I've included this is because there's a similar one that is down here actually. There was a car version one, but everybody has cars, everybody's seen these toys, toys that have cars. This one is more specific because it's dinosaurs. So it's a variation of an already proven past winning product. And that is the golden recipe, is to take a product that you know for sure 100% is selling and people want to buy and sell a variation, sell a different variation of it that nobody has ever seen before. There's a lot to be said for being the first person to start selling a product. The other thing as well with these guys, so with the supplier, if you want this exact supplier link, they have six day delivery too, which is absolutely awesome. So the Dino Track game, what I've done is put in dinosaur toys, strong demand for obvious reasons coming up to Christmas for dinosaur themed toys. The cost is $8.50. I'd recommend a retail price in and around $30, which is more than reasonable. Uh, it fits most people's kind of um, budgets and it still fits nicely in that bracket of being considered an impulse by purchase. Anything over sort of $50 or $60, I usually find there's a, there's a bit more strategy involved in getting people to spend that sort of money and perhaps a little bit higher with retargeting ads or smaller audiences and bigger budgets to, to bump up the frequency scores. But nonetheless, with a product like this, 
I think it'll be hard and fast and, and very easy to convert on the first instance. Sell it for $30 and that still gives you a pretty healthy profit margin of $21.49. My target market again <clears throat> is going to be females over the age of 45. The reason being is I usually find that grandparents are stronger buyers on Facebook. Facebook is where my expertise lies. lie. Um, it's where I've generated over a million dollars in sales in 2024 so far. I've documented that, I've showed that, proved that in past videos. So whenever I talk about product, I'm thinking from a Facebook ads standpoint of view and females over the age of 45, from my experience, are the strongest buyers. Most people, especially of an older generation, this might be stereotyping a little bit, but they tend to leave the, the wife to do the Christmas shopping. So females over the age of 45. Don't attract game. There's your product descriptions. I'm not gonna bore you guys by reading through um, each and every word, but basically what you wanna do is make sure that each paragraph and each section is backed up by an image or GIF. So for those people who don't wanna read the text, they can just see the image and know exactly the point you're trying to make. And you wanna sell people on the benefits of the product too. So each section will be a unique benefit to the product. And if you're not sure what information to put on a page, think of, try and put yourself in the consumer's mind frame and think what a consumer need to know about this game before they were ready to buy. And literally write it down on a piece of paper. What batteries does the products need? Is it rechargeable? How big is it? Um, what benefits are there to it? All those sorts of things. And just make sure that you answer and knock down all those questions on your product page and it will dramatically increase your conversion rate. Number three, the fireplace diffuser. Let me just show you the video of this again because it gives off a really nice effect. And diffusers, again, they're tried and tested, proven seven figure products, brilliant products for dropshipping. I mean, look how unique and how cool does that look? It has that wow factor. And that wow factor is what causes things to go viral. And when things go viral, you get in terms of eyeballs on them. And eyeballs equals clicks, of course, and clicks equals sales, as long as you've got a good website. So, really, really awesome product here. Just to show you too, the order trends, again, a strong, consistent demand for this exact product. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring out Google Trends and show you just how popular the users are. They make really nice gifts and like as we can see, every single year they spike from sort of September, October, November and reach their peak in December, January time or more sort of December time. So now if you're looking for something to turn around pretty quickly and try and squeeze two, three weeks of sales out of, then this product is going to be a good choice for you. I would definitely create a one product store around this or certainly a niche store and just focus on selling purely diffusers. Cost, as we just saw, $25, sell it for $50, which leaves you a pretty decent profit margin of $24.99. As for the target market, I'm gonna say male and females. I don't think, if I had to lean one, one way than the other, I would say towards females. They tend to be the ones that would buy something. I'm speaking purely from my own experience here. It's definitely my wife that buys things like this and little trinkets and decorations to put around the house. I, I'm not that sort of person. Um, so I'm just speaking purely from my own experience here. And the reason I've gone for such a young age range is because there might be the gamers out there, the home office setup um, people working from home professionals out there that might want a pretty cool looking product like this to put on their desk just to make it feel a bit more homely um, and smell nice too. So that's why I've put the age range um, down to 20 plus. Here's your product description then, cozy ambience with soothing mist aromatherapy meets style and safe and easy to use before we go any further i just want to very quickly make you aware of my free drop shipping community it's free for seven days during black friday it includes unlimited personalized support from myself so unlimited video feedback on your shopify store on your products on your ads whatever it is i'm inside the community on a daily basis to support you and guide you just to show you how supportive the community are and how much people enjoy being a part of it we have Nick and we have Hamed here who are wearing their real dropshipping t-shirts which get gifted to the people who contribute most towards the group and when they reach certain milestones so really really awesome supportive community if you want to check it out it's the top link in the description below number four is the AirPod Max lookalike so this is the product in that express look it's reduced at the moment for $2.15 with free shipping and six day delivery. The regular price is $11.22, so it's still cheap as chips, really cheap product. And then this is the product on Apple, and I believe these are $500, 500 pounds, they're $600. And just look at the shape of the stem here, and obviously the design of the ear covers here. It's similar, isn't it? it dare I say it's similar, it's obviously not 
going to be anywhere near as good a quality. But as there, there is 100% a market for these products that look like the more expensive home brand name products. When you look at GoPros, there's a massive market for, I was about to say knockoff GoPros, not knockoff GoPros, not people trying to copy the GoPro, but for cheaper non-branded action cameras. There's a massive market for it because not everybody wants to pay, especially $600 for some earphones when you can get some that to the untrained eye from a distance probably look exactly the same and probably do a good enough job. They're not going to be as good, obviously, as Apple, but for the people who want to have something that looks like a products like this, this is the next best thing. The other thing as well is with drones, like drones flooded the market instead of paying four or $500. I mean, I paid 1200 quid for my drone and you can buy a DJI drone now for 200 quid that would run rings around what I paid. The other thing too is with the AirPods, you come on AliExpress, there's a seven figure market for these products here that are white labeled products that look like AirPods by a fraction of the price. Tons and tons of potential here in my opinion. And I think a great brand idea too, to have these products that look like household brand name products, but a fraction of the price. This is the order trends as well as again, what we can see when you're trying to pick up products, you want a product that has a slow and gradual and steady increase in order volumes like this, because it shows that more and more people are discovering it, more and more people are showing an interest in it. And it just shows a really strong, consistent increase in demand, which is exactly what you want. So you want to start selling a product that is continuing to increase in demand with more and more people wanting to buy it. You don't want to get into something that is decreasing where the pool of customers is becoming smaller. Cost 11.22, so base this on the higher price. I would sell these for $50. I still think that's a bargain, which leaves a really good profit margin of $38. As for the target market, I've got the same thing too, male and females. I think it could be an older generation and a young and good generation that are going to buy these. So I'll go pretty broad, run some tests with different marketing angles. I would as well have on your website, you could do like a side by side comparison of this product and this product and try and work it so that you're painting your picture in a much superior fashion. So it could be that the, well, First things first is going to be the price, $50. So it's 10% of the cost of the Apple One. It could be that these take voice calls and the others don't. It could be which what sort of Bluetooth this has. It could be how loud they go. It could be the battery powered. Um, it could be how they're rechargeable. It could be a whole different thing. So I'll let you guys do the research and pick out the good bits to kind of paint this picture as a superior one against the Apple, Apple Ones. So as a product description, premium sound and budget friendly price, that's pretty much kind of like the main benefit of the product. Stylish design and comfortable fit, wireless freedom and long battery life. Moving on to product number five, probably my, one of my favorites actually out of the five that I've shown, probably my favorite is these calf air pressure massage um, like wraps. And I've put the reviews on here from the supplier just purely because, let me see if there's anything I wanted to show you. No, so I've put the link, I've put this on here so you can see that they're actually a legit product and they genuinely are helping people. I would never recommend to somebody a product that I wouldn't be prepared to put my own name to and sell myself. And with products like this, I'm always skeptical. So are other consumers because there's so many different products that claim to do X, Y, Z. But 257 reviews, 1,000 sold and 4.7 stars. Like there's got to be something in here that has an actual true benefit um, for the consumer. This is also taken from the supplier too. This is what your target market is. People with tight hamstrings, people with varicose veins, um, people with arthritis, people with stiff legs. Um, and we'll get onto that in a second when I recommend um, the ideal target market. This is the order volumes too, as we can see again, slow and steady gradual increase with a stronger one as we kind of, as the weather's gotten colder, as we've gotten deeper into winter, where I think there's gonna be more and more of demand for products like this. 11.85 is the cost, $60 with a profit margin, very healthy profit margin of just under $50. The reason I'm saying 60 again, is because it comes back to the problem and the issue that you're solving for somebody. If somebody struggles to get out of bed or by the end of the day, they're struggling to walk because they're in so much pain and this product can help solve that problem, like $60 is nothing to pay if it's gonna help ease somebody's day-to-day -day pain. So 100% products with loads and loads of potential. My recommended target market for this is going to be females 55 plus, just typically because it, it tends to be an older generation 
that struggle with things like arthritis or pain in the legs and varicose veins and that sort of thing. So if it was me, that would be my go-to first test um, to see how it goes. As for the product description then, relaxing full leg massage at home, customizable air pressure settings and it's portable, it's comfortable and it's easy to use. You could even have a marketing angle of that you, because it is portable, you could take it to a friend's and family's house on Christmas. So you still get that relief every morning or you can still use it throughout the day, that sort of thing. Before you go guys, don't forget to check out my community. It'll be the top link in the description below. It'll take you to a page here where it shows you absolutely everything that you get access to. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And when this video hits 20 likes, I will post the link to that presentation so everybody can download it and get access to the suppliers and everything. Thanks.